Hi, I'm Kayla Milquarrie from Loyola University Chicago, and I presented my research at the 24th uh, APS Annual Convention in Chicago, Illinois. My advisor, Robin Mallett, and I conducted a study to see if reading about a female lead character from a popular young adult novel, in this case, Twilight or The Hunger Games, impacted women's self-concepts. Half of the women in our study were randomly assigned to read about Bella from Twilight. Uh, Bella is typically a submissive character. That is, she relies on others for protection and prioritizes her romantic relationships over other aspects of her life. The other half of our participants read about Katniss from The Hunger Games. Katniss is typically an agentic character. That is, she is self-sufficient and prioritizes her ability to defend herself um, over her romantic relationships. Um, after reading the passage, participants uh, completed a implicit or unconscious measure of their self-concept called an implicit association test. In this IAT, participants paired words that were relevant or irrelevant with the self uh, with agentic and submissive words. Consistent with our hypothesis, we found that Twilight readers were quicker to pair uh, self and submissive words and slower to pair self with agentic words. That is, Twilight readers had more submissive self-concepts, even at this unconscious level, um, and Hunger Games readers had more agentic self-concepts. Um, we found support for our hypotheses also with two uh, items that measured explicit self-concept. Um, thus, we are what we read. Um, women, at least temporarily, uh, incorporate the agentic or submissive uh, characteristics of the characters that they read about into their implicit and explicit self-concepts. Um, however, this effect is rather small. Um, in the future, we hope to test for potential moderators of this effect, including the extent to which that readers identify with the characters that they read about.